we are in the vestibule, I guess you could say. This is the original plaster walls. Uh, this room is completely original with all the casings and uh, baseboards, even the door, even the lock on the door is the original. And then we go into the stairwell hallway, I guess you could say. Again, all original millwork, just removed 49,000 layers of paint. And, uh, but that's essentially the way it looked when uh, the Prime Minister lived here. And the Victorian archway here is half original, half not. Like this millwork on this side is all original. Uh, but then on the other side, it was difficult because a lot of the millwork was really beat up and unsalvageable. So then I had to replicate it. Um, then the parlor, uh, the fireplace was added. That's a gas fireplace, but I tried to make it look as original as possible. And of course the oak around the windows, the casings all had to be remilled, but I, uh, I had samples of what it used to look like, so it's uh, to the way it was, but brand new wood. And the baseboards as well were all remachined. And then if we go to the, this would be the dining room, living room. And uh, yeah, so everything was, it was entirely gutted because it was all plaster. And over the years, it was chipping and falling off. And so I, uh, and this is all brand new millwork, but it looks old. But uh, yeah, that's, and of course, sort of decorated in modern. I'm sure in those days they had different drapes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, the living room, nice big living room. I really uh, like the way they did it in those days. Again, the high ceilings to uh, keep the room cool because in those days they didn't have air conditioning. Um, new flooring because the flooring was, I guess this being a living room, it got the most wear and it had been sanded way too many times. So it uh, was replaced and I ran it right through to the kitchen. The kitchen the passageway there it, in those days was just a doorway but I thought uh, for the new owners it's nice everyone likes the open concept now so I put a header in there and I made it a little bigger and uh, cabinets as well obviously they were all the kitchen was a mess uh, nobody wants to live in a 19th century kitchen there was a big wood stove in the middle and there was uh, a window, it was really a mess. And so that, of course, again, gutted. And the cabinets were made to look old. Of course, the farmhouse sink, uh, that wasn't there. It wasn't in style in those days. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's as modern as it can be. Yeah, this, so this, I think the back part was, they probably had a servant or a cook or something, but a very rudimentary staircase. So I made it a little bit fancy. Um, the basement is through here. You probably don't want to have a look there, but you can see it's uh, uh, <laughs> the kids when they were younger, they had Halloween parties down there because it's, it can be a little creepy looking. It's a cobblestone floor. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, the back part of the house. The main staircase going upstairs. And again, all the, uh, it was just actually Sam, uh, the people at Sam, I gave them all the spindles to uh, scrape the varnish off. And, uh, but yeah, that's all original millwork. And uh, the rooms, of course, they're just bedrooms. Um, yeah, not much to say. The, the office at that time, I think, was uh, it was a bedroom. But I turned it into an office. It's not like Arthur Meehan sat there and 
did his homework. Uh, but yeah, not much to say really about. But again, it was sort of, and the decor uh, is Wendy, my partner. Uh, I would have just left the rooms empty, but she said we should stage it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, and this is cool. This is the closet. It's, uh, it's like a walk-in closet. <laughs> Stand-in closet, I guess you could say. But uh, again, it's just one little thing. Because I guess in those days they had wardrobes, not really closets. And again, oh, and then, he, yeah, here you can see right by where you're standing, there was a chimney that came up. They, that's how they heated the upstairs. The chimney came up, did an L shape, and went into the wall there. And that's how they heated the upstairs of the house. So, but since then, now we've got four stair. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, so this is obviously the bathroom. So there's the tub. That, yeah, that's the bathtub that Arthur Meehan would have. Yeah, so this. So this originally would, I think this was the maid's room because it's kind of on the back of the house. And again, here you can see where the chimney from the wood stove in the kitchen came up and went through that wall, through the bathroom, and that's how they heated the back part of the house. It's, but it looks old, right? Those go up to the attic. My son wanted a room where he could, uh, whatever teenage boys do in their room. So this is, uh, this was his hangout and uh, all his friends were uh, hanging out up here. <laughs> you ever get hot up here? Did you guys have something for it? it? it uh, if it gets really hot, like it is, there is a vent for the central air 